Welcome to Wired to Hunt's Whitetail How-To's, where we provide a step-by-step -step tutorial for one important deer hunting task. Today, I want to talk about e-scouting for the whitetail rut. E-scouting is something that basically entails the use of digital maps to learn about a property, to learn about a piece of public land ahead of ever getting there. So you can actually see on these maps terrain features, you can see cover types, you can see all sorts of different habitat specifics that deer can relate to and that you can use as a deer hunter. Today though, we're gonna do something a little bit unique. I'm bringing on a crew, Spencer Newharth, Clay Newcomb, and Tony Peterson. And we're all doing this together because all four of us are gonna be hunting the whitetail rut together, sort of. We're all gonna hunt the same seven days in November, but in four different places. And we're all taking different approaches to this hunt. And today we're each going to share with you one piece of e-scouting strategy that we're using to prepare. So I'm hunting in Iowa the first week of November this year. One of the pieces of e-scouting that I'm doing is looking at the crops that are expected to be planted in the area I'm hunting. There's a new crop data layer feature from Onyx that shows you what was planted last year. So I can say, okay, there was corn here last year. I can expect it to be beans this year. That's really helpful. Even though bucks aren't on bed to feed patterns, the does still are. And I wanna know where the does are. Just as important is knowing where there's not food. If you look at aerial maps, oftentimes you'll see a field and you might assume, oh yeah, that's probably a crop. But actually, especially in places like Iowa, that might be CRP, that might be pasture. And I wanna know those spots too, because now if I know, oh hey, that's not a big food source, that's a pasture, I can blow my wind there, or I can access there. Getting that information can really speed up my process once I hunt a new spot like I'm doing in Iowa this year. Hey everyone, Tony Peterson here with Wired to Hunt and Meat Eater. I'm just scouting a farm that I got permission to hunt. I've only spent one day out here. I'm not gonna get very much time. And so I kind of wanted to fast track my scouting process. I know I'm coming back during the rut, so I'm gonna be sitting funnels and pinch points. So what I did is I pulled up the satellite imagery on my Onyx, and then I used the 3D map layer what that does is it lets me see this land, which is really up and down and pick out some spots where I can see there's probably some washouts on some hillsides and there's some places where bucks are gonna have to skirt around these bigger valleys. And the first one that I walked into, I'm standing here and you can see this nice V of a trail behind me and it comes right down here and next down and it's just pounded on this crossing here. And the whole reason for that is because below me is one of those washouts I could see. I'm hoping to mark about four or five of these spots, make notes on what wind direction to hunt them and then just have a great plan to come in for a hanging hunt probably on like November 4th. I'm gonna be bow hunting the first week of November here in the Arkansas Highlands which is fairly rugged, karst terrain. And what I'm looking for is flat spots. Flat spots and steep, rugged terrain because that's typically gonna be deer travel corridors and it's where you're gonna find concentrations of sign, be able to get pictures of deer. So those are gonna be saddles, flats, and then just other areas of topographic flatness that you'll find on a mountain. And it might be really nuanced but when you go check it out, that's where you're gonna find scrapes, you're gonna find sign, and that's what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna go scout those areas, put up cameras, and find some deer for bow hunting the first week in November. I'm gonna be spending early November in Wyoming. Now, like the rest of the country, the best deer hunting is on private ground, but unlike the rest of the country, I feel like I have a pretty good chance of gaining access on some of these pieces of property. Now, while early November rut hunters aren't really focused on food in the South or the Midwest or the Northeast, in the West, a field of corn or soybeans just offers like the most obvious habitat to find deer that are otherwise kind of hard to find. Now, these places aren't gonna be very good deer habitat. Honestly, I could be on a property that doesn't have a single tree, but why I like these spots are for one, I'm hunting with a rifle, so I wanna be able to shoot a long ways and maximize its effective range, and then two, it's a hell of a lot easier to gain permission on someone's hay field when all the other hunters in the area are worried about mule deer and nobody's bothered this person to come and try to kill a whitetail buck. I'm determined to find a bunch of these places for the rut. So determined that I have 75 letters written here that I'm sending to landowners to try to gain permission. I found every single one of these properties on Onyx. Now the first thing I'm looking for is the spot. And in this case, that's a macro look at the area. What I want is some green fields in a place that folks are otherwise trying to kill an antelope or a mule deer or an elk. As for the spot within the spot, 
I'm ideally looking to find corn, which fingers crossed in early November has been cut already. So if I can't find corn, alfalfa would be a good alternative. Onyx's crop data from 2020 allows me to find places like this and come up with a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, and a plan D from a thousand miles away without ever actually stepping foot on these properties. Now it's important to remember with e-scouting, looking at these maps can give you clues. It can give you a head start. It can give you a starting point, you know, by identifying key features, bedding areas, food sources, travel quarters, whatever it is that you find on those maps. It's only a best guess. Lots of times you're gonna head out there and you're gonna wanna ground truth this. You're gonna wanna take what you see in the map and what you think's on the map and actually show up in person and determine whether or not it actually is what it looks like on the map. So think about this as step one in your scouting process. Do this e-scouting, research the maps, put your waypoints in the places that look good. Go there and check it out. See, is this actually what I thought? Dive into those locations, look for sign, look for tracks, whatever it is to help you confirm your hunch, that's the next step. So remember, this is only part one of the scouting process. If you want more whitetail hunting advice, please listen to the Wired to Hunt podcast and the Wired to Hunt Foundations podcast, and we'll give you everything you needed to hear about deer.